Dancers at Pharaoh's Strip Club testified today that patrons were allowed to violate rules prohibiting physical contact between dancers and their patrons if they were willing to spend enough money. The club's owner, Peter Gerace, is on trial in federal court facing drug and sex trafficking charges. We get more now from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley. Dave? One former dancer clutched a wad of silly putty to calm her nerves, Mary Alice, while she was on the witness stand and became visibly upset when shown a picture of a customer whom she says was known for groping dancers during private sessions in a VIP room of the club. She described with details too graphic to repeat on television the type of activity that sometimes occurred in a VIP room of the club, inside of which there were multiple cameras monitored by a bouncer who was supposed to intervene if he saw rules being violated during lap dances. But she says this particular client got away with a lot because he spent thousands of dollars in the club and tipped the bouncer 100 bucks to look the other way. One woman who was a novice dancer testified that when things went too far, she would look up at the camera and try and signal for help. Did anyone ever try and save you? Asked prosecutor Nicholas Cooper. No, she said. Did you think anyone would ever come to your rescue once this happened? No. But upon cross-examination by Jerace's lawyer Mark Foti, the dancers admitted they were under no obligation to enter the room with the customer and were free to end the dance at any time. However, both cited their powerful addiction to drugs as the reason they didn't. It's like air, you need it, is how one of them described their drug dependency, and you feel like you need more and you can't live without it. If you didn't go into the VIP room with these men, would you be able to feed your addiction, asked Cooper. No, she said. Do you believe it was then your choice? I didn't want to lose him as a paying customer, she said. I needed the money for drugs. Prosecutors allege that Gerace took advantage of their addictions and sometimes provided drugs to the women, knowing the farther they would go with a customer, the more the customer would spend, especially during a lap dance, a portion of the profit from which would go to the club and ultimately to him. It was also revealed in court, though, that the same dancer who became so upset in seeing that one client's picture later engaged with him outside the club on paid dates and in acts of prostitution with at least a half dozen other club patrons she met while working at Pharaoh's and that she did this even after she left the club's employ. On your side in the newsroom, Dave Pekinley, Channel 2 News. Dave.